Ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple important things about this problem. First of all, we're talking about a regular polygon. Does anybody know what is so special about a regular polygon that would want to raise their hand? Yes, Mark? Because they're like equal in size. Equal in the side measures, and what else? Angles. The angles are equal. So when you have a regular polygon, you have equal sides and equal angles. OK? Now, what I asked you to do for this regular is a nonagon. We need to remember how many sides a nonagon has. A nonagon has nine sides. So that means this figure has nine equal sides and nine equal angles. All right? That means all the angles are exactly the same. You guys understand a square, right? Yeah. Square has four right angles, right? And does anybody remember what was the sum of a quadrilateral? What's the sum of a quadrilateral? How many? What are all the angles all add up to 360, right? But if you guys think about it, they're, all the angles are exactly the same. So what is the measure of each one of those interior angles? Well, you should already know this is what? 90. 90, right? 360 divided by the number of angles. 360 divided by 4 is 90. Just a little thinking process. OK. So I asked you to find the measure of each interior and each exterior angle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and talk about exterior first. I like exterior. The reason why I like exterior is because, Kevin, do you know what the sum of all exterior angles are for any polygon? Starts with a 3, ends with a 60. 360, right? So you're going to want to remember that, Kevin, for the rest of this class. The sum of all exterior angles for any polygon is going to be 360. OK? Everybody has it written down. Now, think about it, guys. If I have a polygon 360, now remember, all the angles are equal, right? The exterior angles are all going to be equal to each other. How many angles does a nonagon have? We know it has nine sides. How many angles does it have? Nine. Nine. Think about a square. How many, how many angles does a square have? How many sides does it have? Four, right? The number of angles is going to be exactly the same as the number of sides. So if a nonagon has nine interior angles, that means it has nine exterior angles. So if the sum of the exterior angles is 360, what would be the measure of one of those exterior angles? So you take 360 and divide it by the number of exterior angles. Well, the number of exterior angles is the same as the number of interior angles, which is 9. So um, exterior. So we do 360 divided by 9. And that's going to equal 40 degrees. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is the, X, the individual measure of the exterior angle of a nonagon is going to be 40 degrees. Now let's talk about interior. Interior is a little bit different. Because when we're trying to deal with the sum, what's so nice about exterior is we always know the sum 360. It doesn't matter if it's a 300 gon. Right? Remember that review question, what is the sum of exterior angles of a 200 gon? Right? So you're like, ah, I don't know. It's always 360. But for interior angles, it's a little bit different. And if you guys remember, to find the sum, we had to use this formula. Right? Remember this formula where n is the number of sides. So since we have 9, we're going to do 9 minus 2, which is 7. 7 times 180. 1,000 what? 260. Carry the one. 700. It's 660. All right, I'm just going to do this because I can't think of it in my head right now. So 7 times 180. 1,260, Taylor. I know, I'm joking with you. So you have 1,260. That's the sum of all the interior angles. However, it's a regular nonagon. That means each of those angles are all the same. So if I just want to find the measure of one of them, I need to break up the sum into how many angles I have. So how many angles do I have in a nonagon? Nine. Nine. So to find the interior, if I just want to find the sum, find the sum, use the formula, 1,260. But to find the interior, I take the sum and divide it by 9. So 1,260 divided by 9 is equal to 140 degrees. 
Okay. Now here's what's also very important. If you guys want to check your answer, right? What should? How, what do you guys notice about the sum of the interior angle and the sum of the exterior angle? Shouldn't the interior angle be smaller than the exterior? We'll talk about that in a second. But what do you guys notice about 140 and 40? They add up to 180. They add up to 180. So we call them what? Supplementary. Supplementary. Let's go and look at a figure real quick. If I go and look at this figure. Hello. Let's go and look at this. Let's go and look at this hexagon, right? Now, here is an interior angle. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when I was telling you about how to find exterior angles, you would just extend the side, right? So, what is larger in this case? Now, this is a hexagon. But what is larger, the interior angle or the exterior angle? Interior, interior angle. And you guys see how the interior and the exterior add up to 180? You guys see that? Yeah. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that's an example of you can see why when you're finding the sum of the interior and the exterior, or I'm sorry, you're finding the measure of the interior and exterior angles, you guys can see they should always be supplementary. Okay? That's it. Done.